So in this video, we're going to do the binomial probability formula. Now, I could just write the formula here, but I want to develop it. I want to show you why it works. It's not too difficult. First, we're going to need a tree diagram. So this is going to be my tree diagram. We've got um, trial 1, trial 2, trial 3. And you can see there's only two options. So maybe we're flipping a coin. Maybe we're rolling dice and hoping for a 6 or a not a 6. Maybe we're pulling cards out of a deck and we're hoping for a heart or not a heart. In any of those cases, there are only two options, success or failure. Now, the probability of each of those can be represented by the, num the letter P, P for success, probability of success, and Q for the probability of failure. And of course, that counts for everything. All right, and we're going to use this tree diagram now. You can see there's no numbers here. That's on purpose because now we can develop a probability formula just using all of these, these letters. We're just going to focus on the P's and Q's. The S and F don't really, don't really count for much here. Now, this is the kind of question I'm going to answer, which is a binomial probability question. What is the probability of getting exactly two successes from three trials? Now, you can see I'm using a number here, two successes from three trials. The goal of this video is to develop a formula. So I'm going to work with the number two, but I'm going to tell you that it's the letter R and three is the letter N. So the question we're answering is, what is the probability of getting exactly R successes from N trials? So now I have R, N, uh, P, and Q, and I'm going to use those letters to create our formula. Now, let's look at a branch where exactly two successes happen. Success, success, failure. It happens there. Success, failure, success. It happens there. And failure, success, success. It happens there. Now, what's the probability of any of those branches happening? Well, the probability is the probability of the first thing happening times the probability of the second times the probability of the second. P times P times Q. What about this one? P times Q times P. And the probability of this one, Q times P times P. Now, hopefully you can see that they're all the same thing. And they are all, therefore, equal to P squared Q. P squared Q. P squared Q. Okay, now, what's, what's that got to do with, with anything so far? Well, the probability of this happening, you can see, is the probability of success to the power of the number of successes. You can see there's two successes there. So I can write down that. As I'm going to write it sort of here. Probability times R, the number of successes. Now, what about Q? Well, I've only got one Q, one failure here. But where did the number one come from? I can't see the number one. Well, think about it. We've got three trials, three trials, and two successes. The number of failures is going to be whatever that number is, whatever R is, minus the total number of trials. If we'd had 10 trials and we only wanted two successes, we would be having two successes and eight failures. The probability of that happening would be P squared Q, eight from 10 trials. So that Q is not just Q, it's Q to the power of N minus R. Okay, that's a pretty good start here. We know the probability of getting just that branch. But I don't want just success, success, failure. I want two successes and one failure, and I don't care about what the order is. So we need to then have a, a multiplier. How many branches does it happen in? And we can use NCR for that. Now, N, C, R. And so now, this essentially is our binomial probability formula. Now, I'm going to tweak it slightly, but there's our basic probability, binomial probability formula. Let's look, show it the, like the real one. So this is what you came here for, the binomial probability formula. So it says, the probability that our uh, number of successes is equal to R, in this case it was 2, is equal to NCR, that's just another notation for NCR, times the probability of success to the power of number of successes, 
And then 1 minus p, where did 1 minus p come from? Well, remember, if you're not succeeding, you're failing. So the probability of q, which is what, what this bit is here, this is q, is 1 minus p. So if the probability of success was 0.2, probably a failure is 1 minus 0.2, it's 0.8. Uh, to the power of n minus r, the number of trials minus the number of successes. So we have this great little thing here. So I can now just really, really quickly come up with, um, instead of drawing a big long like 10, 10 branch tree diagram, I can pretty quickly put something into a formula and be able to solve it. That's the binomial probability formula. I'm going to use it a bunch in some coming videos.